thoughts on the effects of corrosion in solar rings. Corrosion is the identity assigned by the Leo Sases pantheon to the archetypical spirit, often referred to in our culture as the devil. Corrosion is a very powerful spirit, not least for its parasitic nature and ability to influence other spirit archetypes, to transform them into zombie-like versions of themselves, performing his bidding. Corrosion, being a parasite outer spirit, symbiotically attaches itself and hollows out the internal power of other spirit archetypes infected, creating an insatiable hunger for replacement of powers, often by any means necessary. Upon generating this power, often in now desperate and malign ways, Corrosia hijacks the energy from the infected spirit and convinces it to repeat the zombie-like cycle. Be warned, Corrosia exists as a potential on every plane of existence, and like most spirits, cannot be completely eliminated, only distanced from by dancing the Pleroma dance, which I'll go into more detail about in another video. Corrosia is covert, convincing, and as expected, highly corrosive in its physical, psychological and spiritual form. I will also do a video exploring Corrosia itself in more detail at some point, but for now I want to focus on Corrosia's effects on the Sol Rex, the archetypical spirit of empowered masculinity. Solrex, in its pure form, represents light, broad consciousness, individuality, a healthy sense of pride, warmth, assertive protection, and physical and psychological strength. When disconnected from the Pleroma, which I will touch on later, Solrex is vulnerable to corrosion. Like bacteria and mould targeting fragility in nature, causing decay and infection, corrosion spawns within those exposed cracks and creases of archetypical spirits who have become disjointed from the Pleroma dance, becoming symbiotically attached in the new type of corrosive dance due to its parasitic nature. Combined with corrosion, Solrex transforms into Tyrex. Tyrex is Solrex in its corroded, disempowered form. It is represented by gaslight, ignited by the smallest flame capable of manipulating environments with warped dancing shadows. Psychologically, gaslighting represents a form of emotional manipulation. It's also symbolized by a narrow consciousness, narcissism, contempt, burning heat, authoritarianism, physical dominance and psychological spears. Tyrex is often the primary archetype found in domestically abusive human situations, whether that be physical abuse, emotionally manipulative and controlling behaviour, or coercive sexual abuse and rape. Tyrex is also often found in fathers who belittle and undermine their children, but not exclusively, as archetypes are not biologically sex exclusive. Sometimes these individuals will encourage their children, but only within the remit of them being an extension of the Tyrex-infused ego. Tyrex can appear charming, seductive, sincere to the unaware, but none of this is true to its intentions, which are to garner power over and from others. This is rather unlike Solrex, who is genuinely charming and sincere. Harmony and power balance between the fundamental archetypical spirits is the closest thing to truth, or the Pleroma archetype, often referred to as God in our culture. Only when the fundamental archetypes are in mutual resonant relationship with one another do they do the Pleroma dance. Since Corrosia aims to offset this balance by exploiting the individual spirit's weaknesses and moments of disconnect from the dance, Decaying their inner power, Tyrex is destined to aimlessly seek this harmonious relationship, but does so in a futile manner, in which it only takes others' powers to compensate for its lack of, bringing imbalance to any relational dynamic. Tyrex is so deluded by corrosion that he believes himself to exist for the greater good of his own self-preservation. No longer does it seek a healthy, balanced power dynamic, with the other archetypical spirits, 
it merely seeks to exploit others to compensate for its own lack of power. He fears being alone, but fear only allows his power to leak further, so Tyrex must see its individuality as a total justified system, as opposed to dancing the Pleroma dance with the others. The desire for wholeness is still there, which spiritually would be the Pleroma, but it has now been perverted by Corrosia to believe that wholeness truly exists within its own narrow sense of self, and anything other than Tyrex is a fundamental threat, inconvenience, and source of power. Tyrex is often furious with its inability to achieve this inner harmony though, since harmony itself must be within the Perun. Tyrex aims his fury outwards towards other spirits, or objects and living beings in his physical manifestations. Moreover, at the peak of Corrosia's thirst for Tyrex's newly accumulated power, he becomes vulnerable to attack from Corrosia's offspring, the Sokolia. Sokolia are the outer spirits of melancholia, isolation, loneliness and despair, which I'll discuss in more detail in another video. When the Sokolia torment Tyrex, he has a brief but horrifying insight that he has been consumed by them, which fuels his desire for more power, repeating the cycle over and over again. Primarily, Solrex has a harmonious relationship with Sophis in the Pleroma dance. Sophis being the archetypical empowered feminine spirit. For Tyrex, his primary desire is to seduce her away from the Pleroma dance. Sophis, in her pure form, represents the night, affection, beauty, community, and natural systems. Again, I will cover other spirits in other videos. Tyrex, being selfish in his nature, seeks to humiliate and isolate Sophis from her tendency towards beauty and communal empowerment. By doing so, Tyrex can transfer the Sokolia over to Sophis temporarily restoring some of his power in hope of becoming Solrex once more. However, in doing so, Corrosia seizes the moment and consumes Tyrex's short-lived power. In this dynamic, Sophis is trapped in submissive torture, being perpetually devoured by the ever-breeding Sokolia. For Tyrex and Sophis, this will become an endless cycle so long as Corrosia has the power to use him for resource. 